Charles Darwin is known as the architect of the theory of evolution by natural selection. His observations changed the understanding of evolution on Earth, and now a ship is tracing back Darwin's voyage around the world after almost two centuries. The aim of the journey, which will be across four continents, aims to study endemic wildlife and boost conservation. The group of environmentalists will set sail on board a 105-year-old schooner from the southern English port of Plymouth. It's the same port from where the British naturalist began his expedition in 1831. The researchers will study the impacts of climate change on coral reefs and the decreasing reefs. Throughout their journey, they'll also plant trees. So we're trying to show the world the beauty of, of the natural world, but more importantly, also show them solutions. Because what we see in conservation again and again and again is many of the problems can be solved. Many of the problems it, it is within our power to fix, whether that be the Ascension Island uh, green turtle population that was virtually annihilated 100 years ago that has now absolutely exploded back, or endemic frigate birds, or the blue iguana on the Cayman Islands, or the cow in Bermuda. Many of these, these examples show that we can solve problems and that every single person matters. Reports suggest Darwin's great-great-granddaughter will also be a part of the journey, who herself is a botanist.